In this tutorial, I'll explain to you how to replace any in-game world textures. There are a few programs you need to have this to work. First is Cheat Engine. Second is the GUI Export Tool. And third is the Texture Toolkit. For the GUI Export Tool and the Texture Toolkit, that is password protected. They are in a Google Drive, and in that Google Drive is a list of passwords. Make sure you use that. You'd also need Paint.net to edit these textures. All will be provided in the link down below. To replace any texture, go to any part of the world that you want to replace a certain texture. For me, it's this movie poster. And then you want to use the Reload Button program, which can be found in your Texture Toolkit folder. This program tells you the chunk that this texture is in. You're going to need to remember these numbers. So take a screenshot if you haven't. Now you want to close out your game and open up the GUI Export Tool. Now you want to click on Win Big GUI, where you have to find the big file for the world that you are trying to edit. Click on Unpack Selected Big, find your game, go into your game, click on User Directory, Data, and then Content. Here you'll find the big files for each world in the game. You're looking for something called World Districts in the beginning. And for me, mine was the University District, so it would be right here. You open it and you let the program do its thing. It should produce a folder called Content. Keep clicking into it till you see all these files. This is where your textures are stored. So now we refer back to that screenshot that you should have taken. There are two numbers, C press and C text. Your texture can be in either one of these. So find the file for that one. For me, I will search C press 50, negative 250. Once I found it, I then go back to the texture toolkit and then I click on the PSF tool. There, I will drag it onto that program and hit extract. That should create a folder at the top of the list. Clicking into that folder, you'll see all the textures. So now, you click on one of the textures and hit open. Here it will ask you for the program. You want to search for a new program to open this with. Head to the Texture Toolkit folder and go to Noasis. Here you'll find a program called Noasis and open in that. Here is where you can view your textures. I'd recommend sorting the files by size by just clicking the size button on the top. Here is where you can either click on the textures to view it or just hit down arrow and enter and scroll through. Some of these textures you just might not see, but that's fine. Eventually, you will find your texture. And here it is, that movie poster. Now right click on it and reveal and explore. Here is the texture you want to modify. You would want to rename it and copy the name because you're going to save that for later. Now you want to go back into the folder where you see all the C-Press stuff and delete that extracted folder. Now, determining on whether your texture is in the C-Press file or the C-Text file, you have to extract each file of that group. Because mine was in C-Press, I now have to highlight all files starting with C-Press. If yours is C-Text, highlight all files that start with C-Text. Now that it's all highlighted, you drag it into the PSF tool and hit Extract. This will take a while, but it will create all those folders again at the very top of the list. There, you go and find your number again. Mine was 50, negative 250. And in this folder, I could now paste that name that I copied to find it a lot easier. I now go back to the Texture Toolkit folder where I open the PSG tool. In there, I then drag the PSG onto the program and hit DDS. There, it will create the file DDS in the DDS folder. I then open it up in Paint.net. In Paint.net, it tells you the size of the image. You want to remember that size. I then drag an image that I want to use onto Paint.net. Look at that handsome guy. I make sure not to overlay it on the other photo. It's in its own separate window. So now I go to images and go to resize. And now I resize the image to the movie poster image. Now that it's resized, I hit control A, control C, so I copy it, go back to the movie poster and then paste. Now go to the file and hit save as. You want to save it as a DDS. You want to replace that image. And then here are the settings. You want to make sure it says BC1 linear DTX1, generate MIP maps, and set it to bilinear. Then you hit save. Now go back to the PSG tool, drag the DDS onto the program, and hit PSG. That will make a PSG in the PSG folder. Opening the PSG to double check that I actually did replace the photo, and then backing out. You then replace that PSG with the exported files of the other PSGs. Now highlight all the folders that were extracted and place it into the folder section of the PSF tool and then hit pack. This process will take a while, so please be patient. 
So once it's done, you can then delete all the folders to save up file space. So now you're just left with this district folder and you want to place this folder into your game. You go to your game, you go to PS3 game, you go to user directory, data, and then content. There should be a folder called world. And in that world folder should be a stream folder. If you do not have a stream folder, create a folder called stream, then place that district folder in there. Afterwards, you go back to the content folder, make a folder called backup, and place your world district big file in that backup. Now you boot up your game, and you know you have it done correctly if you boot up into the district and you don't freeze. Now head over to that texture that you replaced. And if you go to your texture, you realize it's not replaced. Well, that's where you pull out the reload program again. And you see that big green button? Pull it down for a second and let go. Now you have replaced your texture. Something to note that if you were to fast travel to a different district and then load back, your texture would go back to normal. You have to hit that reload button again for it to work. So it's not a permanent fix, but it is there. And that's how you replace textures. Maybe one day these textures can be permanent.